What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another Marvel Future Fight video. Alright, so the X-Men update is done. We have the new X-Men added to the game here. And as you can see from the page that I'm sitting on, we have Emma Frost, which is who I'm going to be focusing on today in this video. So I've always really liked Emma Frost, so I'm definitely going to be picking her up. And uh, we're going to see if that is going to be a bad decision or not. Uh, because after you purchase her pack here, yes, you do get her at six stars, but then you have to repeatedly purchase uh, this pack again to get biometrics to be able to level up her gear, which is kind of annoying. I don't really like how they implemented that. So basically, when everything is said and done, she's probably going to cost either the same or more than Adam Warlock, depending on your um, RNG with the gear uh, rolls. So hopefully in this video, we are going to get her to tier two. Uh, I say that tentatively. Uh, we do have 10,000 crystals. I don't plan on spending all of those. Um, I pretty much am going to cap out at around, what is it? 6,250, I believe is going to be uh, purchasing the pack three times. So that's going to be my max that I would absolutely go. Um, so basically I'm going to invest in her as much as Adam Warlock. Uh, originally, I had these crystals saved up for Adam Warlock, and then uh, I was kind of not too impressed with them overall in the game. So I was like, you know what, I'll save for Infinity War. But then they went ahead and released uh, released Emma Frost here, and I'm like, yeah, I kind of want Emma Frost. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and first of all get her. So there we go. 2,500 crystals is now gone, but we do have Emma Frost. All right, there we go. Yes, character has been found. Very good. All right, so now the price goes down to uh, 1,250 crystals, but uh, as you can see, you only get 160 bios. So uh, for me personally, I don't know if I have maybe worse than average luck, but on average, it takes me about 400 to 500 bios to get all gears to 20. So that's going to be hopefully three purchases of the pack. If I have to purchase four of these, that would be ridiculously bad RNG. Um, I'd be extremely happy though if I only had to purchase this twice to get her to um, uh, tier two. So that would be uh, 320 bios to get all the gears to 20. That would have to be some pretty good RNG actually. So we're going to go ahead and purchase this of course one time here at least. And we're just going to kind of purchase them as needed. So let's go ahead and hop into the roster here and go ahead and find Emma. All right, does it bring her up to the front? No, because she's not leveled up, I'm assuming. All right, there she is. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So yeah, for the mastery, we need the Mkron shards, which I am kind of short on those. So I will use this uh, mastery ticket that we have here. Got this randomly from the um, boost point reward so they give us boost points every once in a while and uh, if they do it as like a continuous thing I kind of just save up until they're about to expire and uh, yeah I got one of these when I was running um, special mission so that was pretty nice so I'll go ahead and use this here go ahead and get her partially mastered here so we got two more to go uh, come on there you go oh yeah we got an event going on right now reach three star mastery very good and now we'll just go ahead and use the Mkron shards to finish her off here. So we're going to get up to 24%. Oh yeah, it's just decreased debuff duration. That's right. So let's go ahead and finish her off. All right. Very good. So now we'll go ahead and hop in. So we do have to level her up first and roll an ISO 8 set. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the ISO set here. So let's see if we get uh, lucky or not. So... This might be a little bit of a longer video if we do get her to uh, tier two, because I'm going to try her out a little bit at tier one, maybe like a world boss fight, something like that. And then I uh, will go ahead and tier two her, and then we're going to try her again at tier two, just kind of see the difference. And come on, let's get something good. We want, not that one. <laughs> want Power the Anger Hulk or Overdrive? Come on. Let's see what we get and nothing there all right so i just i'll just go ahead and cut back to when i have the ice weight set and also when i get her leveled up and then we can go ahead and watch me struggle with uh rolling her gears so hopefully i get good luck with her gear so i will see you guys in a second 
All right, I am back. So we have leveled up Emma Frost here. So we got her to level 60. Um, I was able to roll Power of the Angry Hulk, so went ahead and got that activated. And I also put a Obelisk on her, so we have a Mind Damage with a Damage proc. Uh, I went with that just because we do have her uh, third skill here that gives her super armor, so I don't necessarily need uh, immune to guard break because it is on uh, for 10 seconds with a 15 second cooldown, which goes down to 7.5 seconds, so you can have your super armor up all the time, uh, so we don't really have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and level up her skills here. So the third skill, of course, is going to need some leveling. So get a little bit more of the all defense and all attack and also some more uh, decreased damage received. So that's very nice. Let's see what that goes up to. All right, so we're going to max out at 30%, 30%, and 85%. So not too bad. Those are pretty good numbers, actually. Um, and then let's see her fourth skill here. We can go ahead and level this up as well. So I'm assuming that 50% chance is just going to go all the way up to 100%. Yep, there we go. So 100% for four seconds. So that's pretty nice. I do like that. Um, and then her fifth skill here, we got the uh, decrease the enemy's mind resistance, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and level that up. What's it going to max out at? Uh, 6%. All right, so... 6% for the uh, mind resist reduction, and then damage received is up by 6%. Uh, yes, and the mind control lasts for 4 seconds. Right, yeah, bind for 1 second. And damage received 4 seconds, mind control 4 seconds. Alright, cool, sounds good. So now it is on to the main event, probably what everyone's here to see. Uh, is Talon going to blow all of his crystals trying to get these gears to 20? Is he going to have good RNG? Um, is Emma's Frost going to be um, nerfed or whatever by Net Marble so that her gears will take a lot of biometrics so that they can make more money? I don't know. Let's find out. All right. So we're going to go ahead and work on this first gear here. So... What I like to do when I'm leveling up the gears is I just get all of them to 17 first because those are the one. Jeez, 11 times already? Come on, don't, don't, don't. Well, actually, you know what? Let's get that out of the way early. So if we don't see another 11 times, I'll be really happy. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get everything to level 17 because then we have all of the one biometrics uh, out of the way. And then we're moving on to just the more expensive uh, rank ups here. All right, so we got two more to go. Normally we just see uh, between one or two times for each of these gears. Five's a little high, but at 11 times, yeah, that was <laughs> that was pretty bad. Hopefully that's not a sign of what's to come. All right, so here we go. Okay, so everything is at 17. So now the next thing that I do in kind of my ritual, I guess, for when I level up gears, if I have, you know, a good amount of biometrics saved up is I'll pretty much go from gear to gear. And any time I get a multiplier above 10, I switch gears. So let's go ahead and start here. So we got 12 for that one. So that means that I would switch gears because that is unlucky. And then I'd move over to this one. We got 7 on this one, so that means I will continue on this gear here until we get a 10 or above. Uh, 4, okay, that's good. I like I like 4. I like 4. And now we're moving on to... Whoop, no. Alright, so will we max out this gear in less than... Okay, so what I would consider lucky for this is getting anything under 12 would be really lucky. My average for this is 22. I'm always extremely unlucky from the 19 to 20. Let's find out what this first gear has for us. A 7. Oh, we're getting lucky. <laughs> okay, we got lucky on one gear. So I, I, let's not celebrate too early here because I could still get royally screwed on these other ones. Uh, but that first, that gear right there, that one was really nice. All right, 9. So we can still keep going on this gear here. And, oh, 12, that one's a little high, so we're going to move on to the next gear. Okay, so we're moving over here. What do we got? Ooh, 12 again. So now we'll move back on to another gear. 
Uh, but we got to buy some more biometrics. So when we come back, we're going to start off on her uh, diamond form here. Hopefully we just have to buy one more pack. That would be really nice. All right, Emma. No, I, I don't want to buy that deal. I, I just want the biometrics here. I'm already giving you some crystals. So chill out there, Netmarble. All right. Very good. And now we hop back in. And hopefully... We can finish off these gears. Let's see. All right, so we're moving on over here. What do we got? Six, okay, I like six. Okay. And if this is under 10, I'm gonna say we have a very good shot at finishing off her gears. If this is over 10, I'm gonna say that we do not have a good shot at it. So let's find out. Oh, nine, we might, we might, be, uh, we might be getting her to tier two here with only two purchases. All right, all right. Under 20, please. Okay, got what I asked for. I th think we're good here, hopefully. How many do we have left? Ooh, 68, maybe we're not. No, we're gonna have to buy one more pack for like half a gear. Oh, please, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too excited about this. We need like what, um... We need under um, we need under nine. I want to see a number less than nine. Please give me something less than nine. I do not want to spend over a thousand crystals and only have to use like ten of the biometrics. Um. All right. Here goes nothing. No. <laughs> well, I guess you guys probably saw that coming. Wow. Thanks a lot, Netmarble. You have got to be kidding me. Well, I kept with my uh, with my prediction. I told you that I never get anyone's uh, gears up to all 20s without spending about 400 to 500 bios. So we're going to be spending um, 400 bios here pretty much. All right, well, let's go ahead and finish her off. That seemed like a waste of a purchase there, but... Whatever. Go ahead and get that finished. Wow, 17. Holy. Gah. Jeez, even if I had a good amount of bios left for this gear, it would have still screwed me. What was that? Um, that was 25. So that was 25 times that it took for this gear here. Wow, that gear was pretty stubborn. Uh, but anyway, well, let's go ahead and change you. Uh, what do we got? Ignore defense. There we go, first roll. All right, well, so we spent basically the same amount of crystals as we would on uh, Adam Warlock. So that was 6,250 crystals to get Emma Frost here to tier two, which is a lot of crystals. Um, so definitely gonna be saving those 4,000 remaining crystals that I have. Um, but anyway, so we've got all that leveled up. We've got our gear. So let's go ahead and try her out and just a quick world boss fight um, at tier one here. And then we're going to go ahead and advance her to tier two because we are just going to be using a ticket. Um, even though, look at that, or uh, 40, 41 bios short of uh, being able to just naturally tier two her. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We have the tickets, so that's fine. So let's go ahead and jump into a world boss fight. All right, so here we are at Infinity Thanos. We're going to go ahead and take Emma Frost in here. We're going to go ahead and use the mutant team that we have going on right now. And that's going to have Cyclops leadership for the 25% all attack, all defense. And of course, his passive will boost up that energy attack a little bit more. Um, and then we have a energy attack, crit rate, and crit damage uh, team up for the three here, which is really nice. So that's the uh, team up bonus for having all three of these characters. Then we have the telepathic counseling for all attack and some uh, crowd control time, which is uh, okay. I definitely like the um, all attack. And then we have another all attack with a max HP as well, which is really nice for the uh, afflicted lovers. So we're going to go ahead and jump in with this team. So we have some nice bonuses going with the team ups there. And I don't think Emma's going to need any help from any strikers. So let's go ahead and see how her damage is without any of them. Uh, we shouldn't have much of a issue taking on infinity thanos here especially since i do have a 
uh, damage proc obelisk on her, so she should be okay in the damage department. So now it'll just be on the survivability department. And this is going to be the first time that I have used her outside of the skill preview. So let's go ahead and uh, see how we do here. Go ahead and pop this. And let's see, does this work on... It does not work on world bosses. Okay, good to know. All right, so which... Yeah, that one had an iframe. That one had an iframe. Okay, oh, we do have Jean Grey striking for us, though, so that's probably going to uh, skew the damage numbers here a little bit. But the mind control does not work on Infinity Thanos, so this does not look like it's going to be kind of like a time freeze or charm type mechanic that works on everything. Um, but... Of course, it should always work in Shadowlands, which will be fun to use. I do like how all of her skills animate. They all look really cool. Let's go ahead and get that super armor back up. And all right, so we're looking pretty good on the damage. Oh, let's go ahead and switch here. Okay, that's not what I clicked on. Apparently my finger accidentally touched the volume control. That's the first time that's ever happened. Oh, we have Jean Grey doing the time freeze on uh, Thanos for us. Alright, so this is looking pretty good so far. Let me go ahead and pop that. I really like this fifth skill. It just looks really cool how everything gets distorted around here. It's so nice. And that should be it for Thanos here. Yep, there we go. All right, Emma Frost. So yes, her damage is really nice, actually. Uh, I do have a 180% damage proc obelisk on her, but still, minute and 52 seconds, no strikers. Well, actually, I guess Jean, Jean Grey was striking for us a few times there, right? So that probably was a good chunk of damage because I do have uh, my Jean Grey built up quite high, so she can do quite a bit of damage. Um, but still, I think that's a respectable time for Emma here. So now let's go ahead and get back out of here and we are going to tier two her. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So we have Mind of a Queen. So it's going to apply to self. You're going to have a 100% chance to penetrate barrier and shield effects. So we don't have any super armor penetration there. So you're not going to be able to uh, guard break anyone with immune to guard break obelisk or anything like that. Um, and then we have increased mind resist. So she gets kind of a counter to herself and to counter to uh, Scarlet Witch. There are any other mind damage characters. Um, then we have increase her own mind damage by 40%, which is pretty nice. 40%. I do like that. Um, and then it enhances the effects of this skill mind cloaking. So actually, what was that? I need to double check that before we go ahead and tier two her. So that was her passive. And oh, she has 20% dodge on her passive. That's pretty nice, actually. That'll help with her survivability. So let's see what that goes up to. So we're starting at 20%. So let's see what happens after we advance her. So go ahead and use a ticket here on her. Because I'm definitely not going to waste another thousand crystals just to get 10 more biometrics to naturally tier to her and boom there we go all right so emma frost is at tier two now um and she definitely seems like a very strong character even at tier one so um if you didn't you know want to spend those extra crystals on getting her gears leveled up for tier two i think she can still do uh, quite a bit of content for you at tier one but of course you got to keep in mind if you are going to spend that 2500 crystals uh, to initially unlock her that you are going to have to invest even more just to get her to tier two so i'd only do that if you're okay with having her at tier one if you're not willing to spend the extra uh, crystals for the gear and it looks like three is probably going to be the amount of packs that you have to buy I was almost able to get away with two except that last gear had to be really stubborn So if you're really lucky, um, yes, you can get away with just buying it twice 
So we have the White Queen here, very good. All right, so now we have her freshly tier two. So let's go ahead and try her out now at tier two. All right, so here we have floor 25 of Shadowlands, which is the entry mode for the X-Men stage here. So I thought it'd be fitting to take uh, Emma Frost in here and kind of see how she can do. So of course they are uh, all tier two, starting at floor 25 is when they are tier two. So this will be a nice test of uh, Emma's damage here and survivability to see how she can do against her uh, X-Men counterparts. So let's go ahead and... Uh, load this up and also let's go ahead and see how her uh, fifth skill with the mind control works uh, see if we can even notice anything or not so let's go ahead and start off by getting our guard break up then let's go ahead and do this all right so we did have the mind control going i couldn't tell if they were attacking each other or not Oh yeah, there we go. You could see Beast was just attacking Rogue right there. So they definitely were attacking each other, so that's pretty nice. There you go, Cyclops was doing damage to Beast with his uh, channeling skill. Yep, Cyclops just uh, shot Rogue right there. Alright, nice. Um, and her damage is really good as well. She has no um, damage leadership, it's just the reduce uh, uh, debuff duration leadership. Alright, so let's go ahead and mind control them, see if we can get them to attack each other a little bit. Her damage, yeah, I really do like her damage actually, it's pretty nice. Of course that's when my uh, damage proc goes off, but still. Magneto's attacking Storm there. Alright, so that mind control is actually pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't work on world bosses, but as I thought, it works here in Shadowland. Um, it'll probably work pretty well. Up oh, there we go. It'll probably work pretty well for uh, PvP content as well. I'm still not 100% sure if it does work on uh, in PvP. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, but anyway, um, there's a look at Tier 2 Emma Frost. So overall, I... I'm happy with the character. I mean, she does cost a lot of uh, a lot of crystals because on average it's going to be a little over 6,000 crystals to get her. So think of her as another premium, kind of around the same price as Adam Warlock, despite what the uh, initial cost is to get her because it costs that little bit extra to get her to Tier 2. Um, personally, I'm happy um, to have her at Tier 2 because I really like Emma Frost. I like her animations. I like the way the character feels when I'm playing her. So definitely, um, I don't regret, uh, regret spending the crystals. But in terms of if I would recommend uh, someone else to get her, you know, that's, that's kind of uh, up to you. If you like the character, if you like Emma Frost, then I do think she's worth it. But if you don't really have a need or kind of care about Emma Frost as a character, then definitely uh, skip her because there's a lot better things you can spend your crystals on. You can use it on uniform sales. Um, and yeah, so she's, again, an optional character. I don't think she's going to change too much, except maybe in the uh, top levels of the alliances. Maybe in PvP she will be able to mind control uh, the enemy team, which I could see that being very useful since you do pretty much like one-shot uh, well, not one shot, but you can melt the enemy team pretty quickly in PvP. So that four seconds of either tying them up so they don't attack you or making them attack each other could be very valuable. So I'm curious to see how she does even in Alliance Conquest. She could be a very powerful uh, character in Alliance Conquest. But again, um, that's situational. She's going to be just, you know, one probably good meta character for PvP. So if you can do without that, then definitely save your crystals and probably wait even until... Um, after Infinity Wars anyway to see what kind of deals and what kind of offers are going to be put out then before you um, get here because you know it's not a, not a big rush or anything like that but that's kind of my first impressions and thoughts on Emma Frost here so I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it helped in deciding uh, if you're on the fence about getting her or not and also to uh, kind of see the rates on her gear and what it might take to uh, get her to tier 2 so that's going to be it for this video here I hope you enjoyed and of course I will Catch you in the next one.